Well, good afternoon, Jetty Rock crew. Mama and I actually just made a video. We made a mango snapper video and we killed it. We got a limit. And we've just been driving around, goofing off. Well, needlefish, look at all those needlefish in my life. Just driving around, goofing off, went for a swim. And we found this little cut back here. So we kind of drove back here a little bit looking. And there's a lot of big mullet back here. So I think we're going to do a mullet catch and cook. We're going to try. What do you think, babe? Yeah. Never done a mullet catch and cook on this channel. A lot of people have asked me about them. I have a little cast net on board. So we're going to see if we can't catch like four or five mullet. We'll do a catch and cook. Wish us luck. <laughs> Jetty Rockers. If you could, go ahead and go over to JettyRocks.com. You can check out some of these cool hats that we have over there. We also have some tackle available, and we will have more available soon. And also, guys, if you want to book a charter with me, you can book a charter there, because I am now running charters. So all my information is on that website, so go check it out, y'all. And you can be in your own, very own Jetty Rocks fishing video. I hope to see you guys soon out on the water with me. Let's get back to the video. All right, y'all. Well, this is what I got. This little five-foot net. And there is mullet everywhere right here in front of us. They're all over the place. Look at them all right there. A little small silver mullet right there. Here we go. All right, back up. I don't think I got them. I missed those. A big school of them right there, though. But I missed them a little deep. All right, well, that's basically what we're going to be doing, guys. Just spotting mullet and casting on them. I'm just cruising around looking for a few. Did you see that one jump way over there? I didn't see it. Head straight towards that bank over there, babe. You got mama driving the boat. <laughs> She does good during shrimp. See how we do during mullet. There's a big old, big old shark right here. A shark? Yeah, big shark right there. Shark? Bonnet head. No way. Hey, just went that way. <laughs> yeah. Mullet everywhere. Just so deep. Go to neutral, go neutral. And I still didn't get them. Dang. They're just so deep. Okay, go forward, babe. Yeah, I just... Oh, I got one. Did you? I got one. I got one, babe. I got one. Back up. Oh, we got one. That's a good one, too. That's a good mullet. It's a really good mullet. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we got one, guys. Yeah, we actually only need a couple. That looks like the size of a trout. Yeah, no kidding, right? Well, he's, he's spun up real good. That's what we're looking for, y'all. Just like that. Alrighty. Alright, got one. Let's do that again. Do it again? Right. Yep. If we can get at least two more, I'd be happy. Alright, y'all. We finally caught one. Well, there's more up there. Yeah. Just keep going just like this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That might have did it. I might have lucked out and got one. 
I got one. Did you? Yep, Thank I think. God. I think. And a little one. It's all right. A little one. Oh, I got two. Okay. Did you? Okay, go around this way a little bit. Yep. Oh yeah, they're all spoonbills. See if you can go in there. Oh, yeah. A bunch of little mullet in here. Keep going. Look at all these, all these pink spoonbills, y'all. Ros rosette spoonbills. Look at those. That is crazy. Absolutely beautiful. Look at them all. Oh, that's just awesome right there. There's a bunch of mullet right here. Uh oh. Wow, did you see that? Yeah, I don't know what that was. All right, go ahead and back out. That is cool. See you later, guys. We're not going to bother you. Beautiful birds. Beautiful birds. All right, y'all. Well, we got three. We need at least one or two more. Look how pretty this water is, y'all. It's almost like we're in the Bahamas or the Keys. It is. Y'all, well, I just got one. I thought the camera was on, but it wasn't. So that was number four. Well, let's see if we can get one more on the way out. All right, y'all, we're back in. We got four mullet. And let me tell you, we had to work for those four mullet. It was super clear and it looked a lot shallower than it really was. It was actually fairly deep. And my net is not a mullet net, it's just a bait net. But we did end up getting enough to do a catch and cook with. All right, y'all. Well, we got our mullet here. I'm going to start right here with this little one right here. And we're just going to do some simple fried, fried fish, fried mullet. I'm actually not a real big fan of mullet. I haven't really eaten a whole lot of them because... Sometimes they're real muddy. As you can see, there's a lot of mud in their guts because they're pretty much a, a filter feeder, a bottom feeder. They sift through sand and stuff and silt. Over here we got a couple nice fillets right here. All right, y'all, we got all the sides ripped off, so I'm just going to skin them. Mullet a pretty straightforward fish, pretty easy to clean. There we go. There we go. That's a really nice little fillet. Really nice fillet. Pretty nice. Well, all right, y'all. Here's our mullet fillets. They look pretty good. Even got some pretty good meat on the smaller ones. Wish we had four this size, though. But it is what it is. We caught what we caught. We've seen some cool stuff, though. All right. There's our mullet. All right, guys. We are in the kitchen. I got my mullet already cut up. So I'm just going to coat it in my house archery breading we're just going to fry it we do this we're going to get all these coated just like that and we're going to have some some fried mullet 
And also, like I said in the video, we were out this morning, we made a mango snapper video. And Babe is over here making mango snapper ceviche. So we're having mango snapper ceviche and mullet. But this is a mullet catch and cook. So that's what we got going on. So I'll get these all coated. Wait for my green light to come on. And we will fry some fish. Well, all right, y'all. My green light is on. So we're going to put some of this mullet in here. I'm going to put them all in here. Get it all done. Babe's over there cutting away on some ceviche. <laughs> so, that's what we're doing. Pretty eventful day. We had a good day. Made a mango snapper video. Went swimming. Did some exploring. Caught some mullet. Went swimming again. <laughs> now we're home cooking. All right, y'all. These are looking pretty good. All right. Let's so drain a little bit. Throw them over here. Boom. We're going to take our Himalayan pink salt, which we started using this instead of regular table salt. I actually like it a lot better, to be honest with you. It's healthier for you. It's supposed to be healthier for you. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good, too. All right, y'all. We got our mother done. And Babe wants to try some as well. So we're going to try it. Let's grab you a piece. I'll just grab this little piece. All right, so here we go. It's kind of hot still. Looks pretty good. Wow. It's actually really good. It's actually not bad. It's actually not bad at all. <laughs> I thought it was going to taste fish <clears throat> fishy. Fishy or muddy. Every time I've ever eaten mullet, it's always tasted muddy to me. But this right here does not taste muddy whatsoever. No, it doesn't. Nice little white meat. Not bad, y'all. It's actually pretty good. Actually, you know what? I'll do this again. It's not bad at all. I don't know what to compare it to, though. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's not bad, though. It's not bad at all. It was actually a fun video to make. Didn't see all of it in the video, but we spent like an hour and a half. <laughs> Throwing that net. Got stuck a couple times. I got put in a tree. <laughs> Whatever. Um, interesting video, but we saw some <laughs> cool stuff. Seen a shark, seen some sea turtles, but I like never could get them on film. And we've seen those beautiful rosette spoonbills, which is actually my favorite bird. But we've seen a whole, whole flock of them, basically, back up there in the mangroves. It's a pretty cool day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Man, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. We both do. You guys mean the world to us. Without y'all, we couldn't be doing this. And we thank you all very, very, very much. So thank you. We're going to finish our mullet. We're going to eat our ceviche. I'm going to eat a, a mango. Oh, yeah. We'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Tight lines, y'all.